Hello everyone, this is What's Up. Uh, this is a little video that I'm making to uh, explain uh, to some guys at OverUnity.com on the uh, understanding uh, electricity and the TPU thread uh, on my setup here. Uh, this is my uh, uh, dual, uh, this is my bucking uh, toroid with the bucking primary on top bucking secondary on the bottom. Bucking meaning that they're wound same way on each side. Uh, let me just show you my setup here. Let's see. Here's my frequency generator. Um, you got a capacitor tank here. On my capacitor tank I put several diodes that I just test up my input on each one of these diodes at certain settings because uh, at certain settings one diode will work uh, whereas the others won't. Uh, power supply, oscilloscope and power supply. Right now it's at 0.6 volts, 0 amps. So it's not really running right now. Uh, the setup that I have here, my frequency generator is right here coming out the negative is now going to the negative of the power supply. The positive is going into my amp meter here and coming out over here on this yellow. And uh, it's coming right into this dual MOSFET setup that I have. So it's coming into the gate where both MOSFETs gates are connected together on this point here. Uh, what else? The uh, positive of the power supply is coming down into the MOSFET it's going into the, um, that is the source of my IRF 9540 PNP MOSFET. The uh, negative, which is here, is going to the power supply and it's going to the negative of the uh, pulse generator also. The two drains, uh, this other MOSFET here, by the way, is a NPN, it's an IRF 840, so the drain of the NPN and the drain of the PNP are going into the primary, one side of the bucking. The other side of the bucking coil, the primary, is connected together right here. Uh, the secondary is also in bucking, but the bucking end is on the reverse side. And the outputs, which are right here, okay, are going onto this jumper here and uh, it's connected onto my capacitor right here and the other side is coming right here onto this diode here which is the diode is working very well for this presentation on the capacitor I also have my voltmeter which is right there and I have these two terminals going to this this is an 11 watt 110 volt bulb which is right now turned off. So, um, what I found on this pretty curiously is uh, something pretty, pretty crazy. I'm going to lower my camera so that you can have a more direct look at the uh, oscilloscope. Let's get close up here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the voltage on the power supply. Uh, 6 volts, 7 volts, 8 volts. Uh, let me try and get it at 9 exactly. Uh, 9 volts. So as you can see here, you can see the uh, 
Okay, I have a probe. Let me just show you the probes. Oscilloscope probe. My A channel is on output here. And the B channel is right here. And that's connected to the drain of the PNP. Just to show what the output of the one of the MOSFETs is. So let's get back to here. Sorry if it's a little crooked. Okay, let me just set the timing on here. Now, each one of these probes are at 10x. The A channel is at 5 volts, and the B channel is at 1 volt. So the lower wave here is at 1 volt increments. You can see that it's pretty long, but I'm just going to keep it here. And the... Uh, a channel is at 5 volt increments so right now you can see here I'm at 9 volts 0.14 amps the frequency generator is at 90.1 and that will be playing around with but the duty is at 50 percent and the voltage applied on the gate is 3.28 volts and the amperage it's drawing 55.6 milliamps uh, as I lower the voltage on the power supply the amperage on the MOSFET goes down also okay and here the voltage that we're showing here is 296.7 volts DC which I have never seen before with these kinds of setups actually with this kind of setup uh, meaning pulsing the uh, two ends of this bucking coil at the same time so now I'm going to try and play around with the frequency a little more and see if I can get in a better sweet spot okay going down going lower and lower I am at 3.28 kilohertz three point two eight kilohertz those are the waves the B channel is going pretty low actually I could probably put that on to two volts but I'll leave it at one volt so you can at least see the waves happening so this is it not that much I don't want to go too long I just wanted to show you this here these are this is the side this is the waves uh, voltage 8.9 at 0.29 amps applied and the frequency generator 3.28 kilohertz and uh, the amperage there is 53.7 milliamps applied at 3 point something volts so that's it last voltage on this voltmeter 405 volts okay let's just do this quickly I'm gonna turn the light on you're not gonna see that much but let me just turn this off here I'm going to play around with this a little more. I don't know if you can see that thing just barely lighting up. The voltage on the meter is holding at 15.45 15 volts DC. And that's the bulb. I'm going to try and see if we can get that. I'm going to try and get it lit up a little better. find a nice sweet spot with this load there you go that I've never seen before I now have 9 volts 0.2 amps this is the waveform that I'm seeing now with the load
Okay, and uh, voltage on the meter is 23.36 volts. And that lamp is being lit. So if I can light that lamp, I could probably light a cathode on a vacuum tube. Okay, so have a good time. And uh, see you guys soon. Bye now. Minute uh, videos uh, with all.